Hello guys, Cubologist here, and today you're actually watching the first video in my full OLL training series. Now for those of you that don't know, OLL is the third step in the Friedrich method where you orient the last layer, thus the name. So if you're still using the beginner's method or just starting out, please check down in the description for links to some great tutorials to help you along your way. But for everyone else, welcome and I look forward to learning with you. Today, we'll be starting out with the Zoom cases. Okay guys, so if you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, be it with beginner's method or kind of like beginner's Friedrich or CFOP, you probably know the Soon algorithm. Soon is easy to recognize because you have the cross on top and you have one corner oriented. You know if you have that, it's either going to be Soon or anti-Soon. So whenever the corner is oriented and you have it in the bottom left here, you know that if this piece is the same as your top collar, uh, you know it's going to be soon. All right. Now, if you have the cross and one corner oriented like this, but this isn't the same as your top collar, you know it's going to be anti-soon. So these are really easy to recognize. All right, now let's get into the algorithms. For soon, there's really only one really prevalent algorithm and I'll put that down here on the bottom of the screen for you. Uh, that is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. All right, and that gives you the anti-soon case. There's two different algorithms for anti-soon that I use. One is with the oriented corner in the top left, and that is R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. All right. The other one is, <clears throat> if you notice that it's an anti-soon, but your corner's over here, it's not over here, what you can do is R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And that'll orient your layer for you. All right, now let's look into execution. There's multiple different ways you can execute these algorithms. And most people do them really quickly because it's something they've learned since the very beginning. And the way I execute soon is a little different than most people. I actually use a push with my left finger. So I do R U R prime without a regrip. Push the le the next U R U two the double flick then R prime. And now in full speed. Now let's move on to anti-soon. All right, with anti-soon, you've already assessed the layer. You see that this is not a soon, but it's an anti-soon. So the way you do this is with the first algorithm, you do R prime U, R U prime, R prime U two R. And I really don't have a good execution for that. The way I do it, is just I don't even use double flicks just and that seems to be pretty quick now the other one is my preferred method the R U2 R prime U prime R U prime R prime and that's really fast so if you want to practice anti soon just do soon and it gives you the case that you can practice same way with soon if you want to practice it do anti soon and it gives you the case. All right, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you learned something. I assume most of you already know this one, though, but hey, you got to start somewhere. If you want to keep up with me, I'm going to be doing one of these videos at least every other day for the next month or so, two or three algorithms a day, and hopefully by the end of the month, we can learn full, full OLL. So subscribe if you feel like following along. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.